app variables allow you to save a piece of text that can be reused in any formula in your app. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. If you've ever found yourself using the same info over and over in multiple formulas and perhaps needing to update it later in all those formulas, this video is for you. To help us understand app variables, imagine my company has a big event scheduled at the end of April. I want to post this countdown announcement about it in every table of my QuickBase. Let's take a closer look at this announcement. It's made up of several parts. On the first line is the styling that gives it the background and text color as well as the font size. That's followed by the duration calculation for the days between the big event and today. Then there's the reference to the big event. Next is the number of days that the event is planned for. And then it ends with the day event text. If any one of these things changes, and I'm using the same formula across 10 different tables, I'd have to update it in 10 different tables, which would kind of be a pain. This is where app variables can come in very handy. Let's head over to the app variables now. App variables are located in your app settings. So go to the home page and click on settings. Here on the right, I can add a new variable. Let's start with the event date. I'm going to enter the date as year, month, and day. You can use a variety of different formats for dates because you're going to have to convert them essentially from text into a date regardless because every app variable only can have a value of text. So anything we put in here will be interpreted as text. Click OK and add our next variable. This one will be for the styling. The styling done in rich text formula fields is all text anyhow. So I'll enter that styling here and click save. And now I've got the duration of the event. And that's currently set for three days. Let's say I wanted to change that to seven days. I can easily come in here and make that update as opposed to going into all those formulas. Click OK. And let's say the big event isn't our final name. So we might want to come back again later and make that change here and click OK. Now let's go back to our formula. Now back in our formula, we can begin to replace some of these pieces with our variables. To reference a variable, it's quite different than you might expect. Instead of using a dollar sign followed by the name like you might with a formula level variable, to call an app variable, it looks a lot like calling a field reference or a table alias. You can close it in brackets. So we have the announcement style. So we'll pop that in and replacing the hard coded text that we had in here earlier. We can also replace the event date and the text here for the name and also the event duration. With all of those changes made, we can click Save. Now, we don't see a lot has quite changed, although I am missing a space in there. Let's head back to our variables to see what happens when we make a change. Let's change the announcement style and make that background color red. Exit the settings and head back to our table. Wow, you can clearly see changing the app variable changed what was showing up in that formula because now that background is bright red. App variables can come in super handy anytime you have an item you need to use in a formula over and over again, be that styling using text, a duration, a date, or any other formula element that can utilize text. I hope you enjoy using these app variables, and I'd love to hear how you're incorporating them in your QuickBase. You can leave me a comment below. 
Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. If you learned something new, please like this video, and to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit QuickBaseJunkie.com.